Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is another Walmart haul. Again, they've been crushing their spring arrivals per usual. So I have a bunch of fun things to share with you guys. All the links will be in the description box down below. If you would care to shop, everything is a size medium. There's one that's a size large. I will specify what that is. And yeah, let's hop right into the video. I think I've officially hit the point in pregnancy. Normally I stand. When I film my haul videos, there's no way I was standing. I just tried on all of these clothes and I am so out of breath and so tired. I was like, I have to sit. I'm, I'm going to film this, but I have to sit. So I'm 27 weeks as I'm filming this. I'll probably be 30 by the time it comes out. So I'm still trying on clothes this, pre this pregnant. Yay. Okay. So first off, we're going to start off with a pair of shoes, which I think is really fun. Um, they've been coming up with a lot of really cute shoes. So these like little brown, little tiny block heels, very cute. This is fairly narrow and I would say I have a slightly wider foot, but I did feel like it would stretch out a little bit and it did fit my foot. Got my true to size eight, nice memory foam, squishy sole. And I think they're really pretty. They look like kind of a higher end Dolce Vita kind of shoe. Of course, at the lower price point and just a good like sandal to wear the spring and summer with a cute little dress. So I wanted to pick these up and I do really like them. I love picking up like from Walmart or Target, just like a simple, basic sandal that I can wear throughout the season. I typically pick up a new pair every year, but I thought these were super cute for some like weddings and bridal showers and all the things coming up, all the little events. So I thought they were really cute. I'm gonna give these an A, but just be warned if you have a wide foot, probably not your best option. Okay, next up is a sweater vest and I was honestly kind of done with sweater vests, but this one was just so fun. And this is the piece that I got a large in. So it's this really pretty forest green color, um, which is something you would probably see for fall, but I thought it was really cute for spring. It has these little, like, are they birds or are they flowers? What do we think? I'm gonna say that they're little flowers because I hate birds. Like I've always like had a fear of birds, but, and then like, I don't like them in decor. It's just like weird to me. And now that like I'm pregnant, so many baby things have birds like on the clothes and the decor. And I'm just like, I do not want birds like everywhere. So that's a side note tangent. So we're going to say that these are flowers and I think it's really cute. I like the little pop of print. I do think this could still be quite versatile with the different colors. I styled it over my favorite oversized button down and like that look. I think that would be cute for workwear, wear it with leggings. I think it worked with pregnancy. I don't think that this is the most flattering thing in the world, but I do think it's really cute. Glad I got the large because of my belly, but you could probably go true to size if you're not pregnant. But I really like this. I'm gonna give this an A. This was something really fun and a little different for me. Okay, this is the biggest fail of this video and I'm so sad because when I saw it online, I added to cart so fast and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. So it's this little white blouse with ruffles, which is so fun. First off, I got the medium and a medium, it just, it's, it's not flattering if you're pregnant at all. There's too much going on. So this would be something to wear post-pregnancy, but look, there is pen marks on the top. Like, I don't know what's going on. I've never had this issue with Walmart, but yeah, I just wanted to show the pen marks on it. It's just not, I don't know, not a good look, but I think this shirt has a lot of potential if you get one without pen marks. I'm not gonna guarantee you will, but if you're pregnant, skip on it. 
and ain't gonna do you any favors. But a nice puff sleeve, beautiful ruffles, little tuxedo neckline. I think it's really pretty and very like a high-end piece. It's something I feel like I would wear a lot. Just tucked into some jean shorts, flare jeans, wear it kind of year round. Just a really nice blouse, but because of how awful it looked on me and the pen marks, I'm gonna have to give it a C, which I'm really sad about because this is like what started me adding all this stuff to my cart for, so very disappointed. Next up is this button down and it's a like linen-y material. I got it in a medium to try because I wanted to see what the fit was like. I would recommend sizing up because if I did size up, I feel like it'd be a really cute swimsuit cover up, a little bit more relaxed, beachier, but it's very nice see-through, very like gauzy kind of material. I like the medium. I think it worked fine for me and with being pregnant, but I just like my button downs to be a little oversized. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Like, I just like it. It's just comfortable and I feel like it looks cuter. But I really like this. I've been wanting something like more linen-y to wear in the summer as a swim cover-up, those kinds of things. And this with like a cute gold sandal with your big sunglasses with your bathing suit underneath is just such a look and so cute. So I think I might try this in a bigger size and I'll let you guys know what I think. But I do really like this. This gets an A for me. I think it's a very versatile piece that you would get a lot of use out of whether you size up or not. Okay, this next one is something that is so, so comfortable. So it's this halter dress and I thought it was fun. Um, just a little different, a bunch of different colors. This could be dressed up or down. It's just like a t-shirt dress that is extremely stretchy, has a halter neckline and a tight detail with a keyhole back. There are no pockets, um, but it has like a dropped tear peplum at the bottom just to add a little bit. I really like this. I think this would be great for just that easy throw on dress. Be a great swimsuit cover up. It comes in a bunch of other prints as well, but I thought this was the most fun. I just loved all the different colors in it. And it was kind of a little muted, not just in your face because the design is a little bit smaller, kind of like watercolored um, Monet kind of vibes to it. So a year ago, this week or this two week period, um, we were in Europe last year. So I'm getting all of these memories from when we were in Europe and we went when we were in Paris to see Monet's paintings. And so I'm just living vicariously through myself a year ago. So that's probably where <laughs> I don't normally talk about famous painters and artists, but I do really like this. I think you would get a lot of use out of it. It's so comfortable and easy and breezy and just a great dress for summer because it's already 80 degrees in South Carolina in March. So this gets an A for me for sure. Okay, this one I thought was black and white. Maybe I should have looked a little bit deeper, but it's this like sweater dress and with the colored collar. I thought this was white. I was like, oh my gosh, like Mary Blake. I've been seeing like all these um, activewear sets and people getting cute outfits and getting Meredith Blake energy. So I thought this would, but it's not white. It's like a really pretty blue. I have a hair on it, I'm sorry. But it's a really pretty color. And I really like this dress. The slits on the side are a little high, but it wasn't too high. Just something to point out. I did have to roll my bike shorts up that I were, was wearing underneath it when I tried it on. Cause I'm always wearing bike shorts under every single dress I try on and wear in general. But it's very comfortable, very stretchy and soft. I think it'd be really cute with like a little white sneaker. I feel like that makes this very spring because it is like a black sweater dress, but it is a little bit lighter weight. Great for transi transition times. And for those of you who I know, you commented on one of my recent videos that you're still in fairly cooler temperatures. This would be so cute. So you get a pop of little spring color with the blue, but you still are staying nice and covered with this dress. Very comfortable, um, has functional buttons that whole way. Does not have pockets, but you could wear this with like little ballet flats, little loafers for the office. 
white tennis shoes for running errands. I thought this was really cute and I like this a lot more than I thought I would. So I'm going to give this an A. And last but not least is another favorite from this video. Again, love a good t-shirt dress. And I know that's like what I'm gravitating towards being pregnant and being in such hot weather. My motto is if it's not a line leggings or a dress, I'm probably not wearing it because I just am really over maternity jeans. And the thought of trying on maternity like denim shorts, just, I don't think that's gonna happen. I've tried some, a few pairs of like athletic maternity shorts and they're just not comfortable. The sizing is off. So dresses it is. So this one is so cute. I love this color. That's a really pretty eyelet sleeve. It's a very lightweight dress. It is like long sleeve, but lightweight, easy and breezy and it's eyelet so it's like see-through kind of thing. It's more of a heathered dress, has a great length on it, has no pockets, but I think it's fine. This is the medium and I think it fits me perfectly. I think it works with a bump. If you are in between sizes, you might want to size down because I feel like I might want a little less room if I was not pregnant, but I love this. It comes in a few other colors, but this color is so dreamy, so perfect for spring. This I would of course wear with my white sneakers, with my hair in like a ponytail, cute sunglasses, lip gloss, that kind of look. But you could also wear some cute sandals with it, wear it to church, wear it for an Easter egg hunt or all of those kinds of things with spring in the air, but a really great dress that I think you would get a lot of use of. So I'm giving this an A as well. That is everything from this haul. We had some really great pieces and some not so great pieces, but I hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.